In this video, I want to go over a two-to-one problem on Code Wars. And what it states is, take two strings, S1 and S2, including only letters from A to Z, return a new sorted string, the longest possible, containing distinct letters, each taken only once, coming from S1 or S2. Now, if that description didn't make sense, let's look over here at some examples. Our two input strings are going to be A and B, and this is going to be the string that we return at the end. Now, what it wants us to do is, for any letter, take X, that a irrespective of frequency in A and B, we're going to add it to our output string. At the end of doing all that for every letter, we're going to return it in a sorted fashion. Now, let's look at some of these letters. So X occurs one, two, three, four, five times. It only occurs once in our output string in alphabetical order. And Q occurs only once because it doesn't occur in A and only occurs once in B. So it only also only appears one time in our output string. So if that description didn't make sense, I hope that the example that they provided helped do that. Now, what the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new list called new L. And this is going to be the list that we return at the end. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to make A1 and A2 a single string so that we can iterate throughout every letter in A1 and A2 with a single for loop. So we can say A1 is equal to A1 plus A2. And now we, since we can do that, we're just going to iterate throughout A1. So for I and A1. What we're going to do is we're going to check to see if I or the letter in question is in new L. If it is not in new L, what we're going to do is append it to new L and we will never append that same character to new L again. What that ensures is that duplicate character Characters will never occur in our new list, if that makes sense. So we're just going to say if I not in new L, what we're going to do is we're going to append I, so new L dot append, we're going to append I to new L. Once we've done all that and we iterate throughout every letter in A1 and A2, we can return new L, so return new L. However, they want us to return it as a sorted string, like so. And right now it's an unsorted list. So there's some functions we can take advantage of to do this. Let's take care of returning it alphabetically first. So we can say sorted new L, and it's as simple as that. New L is now a list of letters that's sorted. Now we need to convert this list into a string, and thankful for us that we're using Python, there's a function that can turn lists into strings. So we can say uh, join sorted, and I'll explain to you what this does. So this join method turns lists into strings, with this being the separator between every uh, element in our new list. So if we had a space, or let's just do a star for visualization purposes, this will be false, or this won't work, but you can see between every letter it placed an a, a star. What do we want between every letter? Well, we want nothing or no space whatsoever, and if we attempt this, this should work. So yeah, all 206 test cases passed. So that was the two-to-one problem on Code Wars. I hope that this was helpful and you learned something. If you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed, and I will see you guys in future tutorials.